Hi, I'm George. Welcome to GMakes, and this is a quick tutorial on how to do random colors with a geometry node setup. Uh, I've got a basic setup right here with an icosphere as my base mesh, and I'm point instancing some UV spheres on it. So to start, we're going to insert a capture attribute node and then connect an index node to the value. Uh, then we'll realize instances before the capture attribute and set material after. Uh, we'll then choose a material. I'm going with the default material to save some time. Uh, and then just make sure to connect the attribute from the capture attribute to the blank spot on the group output node. Now in the properties panel, from the drop down menu, we'll name the attribute something like color. Then we'll select our material in the shader editor and insert an attribute, math, and white noise node. Connect any of the attribute nodes outputs to the color input of the principal BSDF. Uh, now just click those other bad boys into place. Now here's a color ramp to save for later. Type out the name of the geometry node attribute. Switch the math node from add to snap. Up the increment to 482 and bam! You got random colors. Now if you want to control the colors, insert the color ramp just before the BSDF. Switch the mode to constant and go to town. I did rainbow colors here just because they're fun. And then you can distribute the stops evenly or from the left if you want to mess with the distribution. And look at all these colors. But George, I know you're saying, I don't want to just use UV spheres. I want to use other shapes too. Well, don't you worry. I got you covered. Okay, you want cubes? We got cubes. Now, these increments we're using are all based on the number of vertices a mesh has. So a default cube has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices, meaning its increment is eight. Now a cone has 33 verts. And of course you can change the default settings if you want, just update the increment to match. Again, a default cone has 32 verts on its base and one at its dippy dippy top for 33 total. A default cylinder has 64 verts which again, if you change the vertices number, you have to multiply that number by two to get the increment because a cylinder has a top face and a bottom face, each with however many vertices you put, but the default number again is 64. Now, icospheres are a little more complex. In the geometry node editor, a default icosphere has one subdivision and the increment is 12. At two subdivisions, it's 42, three is 324, four is 1,284, and five is 5,124. So as you can see, at one subdivision, an icosphere has 20 faces and 12 verts. At two subdivisions, it is already a ton more, and three don't even bother. Uh, so you're welcome for doing all that math for you. Just copy those numbers and be happy. And if you want to go past five subdivisions, why? Like. Just use a UV sphere at that point, really. Speaking of UV spheres, uh, the default is again 482, which is determined by the segments and rings, as well as the top and bottom verts. Uh, if you want to up the number of segments and or rings, just use this handy formula. Segments times rings minus one plus two equals number of vertices, AKA the increment. And that's it. Uh, that's how to get random colors in your geometry node set up for any of the commonly used basic primitives. I used this in my recent uh, speed model where I made a gumball machine and that was very fun. That's partly why I wanted to make this tutorial because I think it's useful for a lot of things. Uh, and if you want to use a different kind of mesh, either like you have a torus or you do a curve to mesh or you model something and want to instance that, just make sure you know how many uh, vertices it has, how many points that mesh has, and then just use that as your increment. I hope you enjoyed this very specific tutorial and I'll catch you next time. Bye.